Jim, you want to do the introduction? Yeah, if you want to make fun of me. <laughs> hey, everybody, what's up? This is Dr. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Hey, everybody, welcome to Third Street Reactions. I'm James. I'm Shane. And I'm Zach. Today, we are watching WandaVision episode six. Uh, last week, we watched episode five. No, I'm just kidding. This is funny. And it was my favorite episode so far. What do you guys think of episode five? Yeah, it was a, it was a damn good one, yeah. It was a good one. Yeah. I thought it was fantastic. So, what happened last episode, guys? I was just thinking it'd be funny if I always just kept saying, hey, it's really good. It was a really good <laughs> episode. <laughs> I really liked that episode. Yeah, me too. Because it, it just went straight down through us. Yeah. We all just said the same thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just went to the video. Yeah. It really was amazing, though. And, you know... I'm. I have a soft spot for '80s and '90s shit, and I love that it was set in that. I feel like you have a soft spot for everything, but this these past couple of decades. Yeah, these couple of you said, past. You said you like '50s, '60s, and then you said you love. You, you know what? You know what? Absolutely, 100 percent fucking right. The last couple of decades haven't been too good to me, uh, but you know what? That's changing. But anyway, uh, the '80s and '90s are particularly nostalgic for me because yeah. I was alive and I lived through them so the Back to the Future type stuff yeah. and Karate Kid and those type of things you know Karate Kid Karate Kid <laughs> it's like a Mexican saying it <laughs> you know what the room remember that <laughs> we're back Karate Kid and uh, so, no, I agree there's a lot of great uh, there's a lot of great movies from that era you know we grew up in that era as well you're a little older than us hell yeah um, so of course yeah, Full House this this resembled Full House so yeah it really we did up yeah. to even the living room, the layout with the stairs in the back. Exactly. So you know John Stamos, who played Jesse. I love he's John like, Stamos. He's a cool dude. He's a good-looking son of a bitch. He's like yeah. sixty now. Yeah. He's in a new Netflix show. Is he that old? He's like fifty-seven or something. Damn. Yeah. He's, man, he's married to like fucker. this good-looking thirty-two-year-old girl. Yeah. God. He's as old as my dad. You're he's a handsome son of a bitch. What's that? He's about our dad's age. Yeah. Your dad's was well, mid-sixties though, ain't he? He's seventy-three. Is he seventy-three? Yeah. I'll be damned. So he's about almost as old as my grandma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I never really thought of Mark. They don't look like John Stamos. I, know, I can guarantee always, you that. I always imagined Mark Foley is being younger, closer. To him. He's young at heart, I guess. <laughs> he was, I'm young at heart, Shane. That's what he would say. Um, so we also so we had that. We had um, in the neighborhood, the kids were aging up. Uh, we had their dog missing, and then they found he ate him. some fucking elderberries or something and died. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then they wanted. And they were aware of Wanda's power? Yeah, bring, yeah. Back to life. bring him back. Yeah. But she wanted it because she wanted to teach him. And they wanted, they were going to grow up. Yeah. She said, don't, don't read you. Yeah. Which is fucked up because it's, apparently she brought Vision back to life, but she won't bring the dog back to life. What's up with that? I kind of understand her point. Like uh, I understand her point. Too, like, I might bring my kid back to life, but not bring their dog back to life. Well, it just seems like something that, yeah. Yeah. Probably different the dog scale like there. Yeah. With the kid and the dog. Well, you you, you know the kids. Well, if you treat it, the kids are going to learn the, or treat animals like, it's, oh well, we'll just bring it back. Mm -hmm. It takes yeah. away something. Exactly. Yeah. Like Wanda has powers, and the kids need to learn to abide by the laws of this universe, mm -hmm. not rely on mommy to bring things back. To well, life. for all we know, so far, Vision might be some kind of zombified version of him. <laughs> he could be. Yeah. And yeah. the dog he would just be, be like yeah. zombie dogs. You always know it's a fucking zombie dog. I would have brought the dog back. It'd be like yeah. uh, what's his name <laughs> off of uh, Frank and Weenie. Frank and Weenie. Have you ever seen that movie? No. It's like a... I have. I can't remember it. It's like well, there's a Tim Burton did a CG version of it. Okay, that's the only one I've seen. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. But what's the fucking... Sparky. That's the dog's okay. name. Frank and Weenie. I want yeah. to look that up. Uh, and then we had Wanda go outside of Westview after the drone uh, was there. They tried to kill and, her. Yeah, and confront Sword. Yeah. Say, hey, yeah. leave me alone. Uh, and and she fucking made all the guns... Fucking douche ass. Yeah. Running the show out there at Sword. <laughs> yeah. He was, he told, what's her name? Rambo. Yeah. Yeah. Monica. That he wouldn't try to kill her or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And then the he drone did. would be strictly surveillance. Yeah. And then he fucking armed it and tried to have her killed. Yeah. He realized in that moment how powerful I think uh, Wanda is. And he's probably shitting his pants right he now. He realized how much he fucked up. Yeah. He, he did. fucked up. He pissed her yeah. off. And uh, we find out that Wanda has literally thousands of people held, quote unquote, hostage. Yeah. Um, well, and they definitely then, don't. I don't definitely don't think they want to be there. I no, don't they're not. You don't need quotes. They're hostages. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, I, I don't want to. They're hostage. I don't want to vilify her yet. Um, <laughs> yeah. But you're really scared. <laughs> one of my favorite parts of this episode, though, was when Vision was in the office working, and one of the co-workers. Um, I don't. I guess he. Name, he I can't remember his name, but he, Vision tapped into his head. 
and the dude freaked out and basically said, "Please help me." Oh, I forgot about that. You, yeah. you remember that, that was that amazing. Was, that was cool. Yeah. yeah, it was very cool. And uh, yeah, I wonder how aware Vision is of what's going on. I think he's starting to yeah become you know sort of question. Yeah. Well, they had the argument at the end. Yeah, they did. When he's floating in yep. the air. Yeah, they did. As soon as like he's on wires, he's yeah. Like, yeah. He's floating up in the air. <laughs> I, I, think that's, I think we should just jump in. That's it? Let's do it. One more quick. Turn that down! Go, go, go! Before the. Uh... <laughs> oh my gosh. What show is this after? Oh. It's uh, Frankie Muniz. Petro. Always a magical holiday. All about family, friends, and girls getting to be someone else for a day. Wrong. This is my costume. I'm the cool twin. What does that make me? Mm. That's Orcasaurus Rex. Not a real dinosaur. No, I'm not. Oh, this is another <laughs> this guy's crazy. Somebody better be bleeding broken or on fire. That's her outfit from the comics. That is so lame. Lame. Last year's mommy was the year we got typhus. That's not exactly how I remember it. Yeah, see, that's his comic book costume. Uh, traffic light. A booger. Yes. Yes! Thank you for humoring me and wearing this ridiculous get up, honey. Well, there were no other clothes in my closet, so. <laughs> you have fun tonight, darling? What? What do you mean? You're all dressed and ready to go. <laughs> oh, don't do that! Where do you keep your water balloons? You don't even have a costume. Well, the Asian gym might be like, hey, I didn't do that much. Is way military guys. Holy shit. I didn't expect that. I think they drove a truck in there and became an ice cream truck. <laughs> These made me think of Cody Falls ice cream. Reminds me of his suit there reminds me of Metal Gear Solid. I was thinking of uh, Unbreakable. It's not a yeah, he's the hood, though. <laughs> Say again? All the candy has disappeared. Oh, and now the jack o' lanterns have been smashed. That's not nice. And now everyone's covered in silly strings? Sorry, what I gotta bounce. Well, maybe Vision can help you out. Vision? Oh, he's not on duty. No. Oh. I Motherfucker. Want something changed? No. It's fine. Hmm, why would he ask that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's very odd. He's crying. Oh, you're right. Have to become Halloween decorations. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's horrible. <laughs> Oh my god. Magic, the snack for survivors. He didn't eat it. <laughs> he didn't live. He died. He didn't survive. <laughs> so Holy <laughs> shit. Run on, little dude. Chip off the old maximum block. You got super speed. I do? Yeah. It's okay, baby. You can you can take it slow. You can take it slow. Yeah. 
Okay. If you're gonna break the sound barrier, please just take your brother with you. Who is that? Wanda's brother came to town. He brought the wrong face. He brought the wrong face. Yeah, they didn't need the same actor that played him in the movie. Uh, but he played him in X Men. Theorize at first that maybe the people who aren't taking active roles in the story are kind of like on standby to spare memory. Yeah. Kind of like a video game. But still, it sucks for them. Yeah. <laughs> really I kept thinking of a. He walked into it and dies. As I was wondering. My corpse just falls on the other <laughs> side of the street. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be crazy. But I'm staying here. Stay here, what? it's not safe. Darcy, what are you talking about? She's gonna be called. You falls behind, gets left behind. I was. It was the pirate's code. I was. Yeah. Do it to it, Lars. He stabbed the blimp. Die! Die! <laughs> that is a standard children you laugh. Yeah, you get a lot of shit. I assume they're all just. You don't think it's wrong. Are you kidding? Seriously, it's a pretty big leap from giving people nightmares and shooting red wiggly woos at your hands. <laughs> wiggly woos. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Fuck. Then Jim Carrey a little bit. Oh my god. So what happened to him? Mm -hmm. The hell's gonna break loose. It's like the Tom Waits song. Tell broke loose. Oh, He's fucked. him in there. Anyone hear my voice? Of course it is. Small as that. The pack of people fucking oh, running geez. away from the battle. Small as <laughs> that. Damn. Oh, he 
he escaped. Guys, that was our reaction, and now we're going to talk about it. So, things are coming to a head. Yeah, definitely yep. escalated. I, okay, first of all, I guess I really like the episode, and I'm really just wondering where it's going. Like you said during the reaction, he can't live outside that hex. Yeah, it definitely made it clear that he could not escape. He yeah. was deteriorating, so it's almost... I mean, he must be one hell of a powerful thought. Yeah. Whatever has been brought back or returned to him or <laughs> manifested... Yeah. Because he tried to get out. You could see that the net was still with him. Yeah. 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 Essentially. Yeah. I'm kind of sad about it, honestly. I was hoping he could escape and come back. And I don't even know anything. (laughs) Yeah. I don't even know anything about this dude, but yeah, I'm emotionally attached now. And I was hoping that he would be able to escape. I'm glad he's dead. Because I like when that aspect, that darker aspect, can be kept and maintained in stories. Mm -hmm. And we aren't always told that, hey. Life has a happy ending. Yeah, yeah. I, I'll I tell you what, you. I they think there's have a happy ending. I think though that now that we know that he can't exist outside of the bubble, it's cool that they, they found a cool way of bringing him back though in a yeah, story. She expanded. You know what I mean, them. yeah, exactly. Made it bigger. Yeah. So I think it's cool, but uh, yeah, I'm a little disappointed. Well, yeah, because I mean, he essentially like the movies. There was a crazy war fought, and it's important for the people who died. You know, who sacrificed ourselves, you know, and for it to be a meaningful thing when we're yeah. having people who, I guess, join the military and we have children who watch this thing. Like, you die, you die. You right. Know what I mean, and when we've had people come back to life, it is, it's always something like this. You know what I mean? Or it's right. like a great cost. Right. You know what I mean? That's yeah, nice. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. So we, it's we, refreshing to see that in stories because mm-hmm. too often I think we're showered with this. Yeah. It was rainbows and fucking <laughs> sunshine idea of uh, unicorn. I don't think anyone ever showered you with that, Zach. <laughs> I'm, I'm better for it. <laughs> but um, no, I I completely agree. So like, and uh, that's a challenge, I guess, of um, <clears throat> what the MCU writers are doing is like they're continuing the universe in a good way. But mm-hmm. people who've died or they're left or they've retired, they need to stay that way. You look at Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and you look at this. Mm-hmm. The drastic difference. I mean, both of them are dealing with death. Yeah. Or the passing, I should say. Yeah. Because Cap didn't die, so to speak. Yeah. I mean, he is probably <laughs> dead by that time, but. Yeah. He just left. He's gone. Yeah, his character's been retired. Yeah. But at the same time, mm-hmm. it ain't the same kind of relationship. It's because no. You forget. Vision, <laughs> you forget. Vision and Wanda were lovers. Mm hmm. So it's a very different relationship than what's been taken from Wanda. Yeah. Someone that she loved romantically. Right. And had that with a partner. Mm-hmm. And now she's bereft. She's brought back her brother, who she also saw in this episode. So he's very hell. aware. The brother's very aware because he was actually saying, how the, how the hell did you do this? How'd Maybe you she needed somebody brought back that she could talk to yeah. because she couldn't really talk to Vision about it. Because she right. said, because he said, hey, I'm not your husband, I'm not your friends, I'm your brother. Right. I'm not your, hus- yeah, your husband or your kids. Yeah. Yeah. So it's <laughs> like, oh, you can talk to me. Yeah, and then the dumbass said, "You're do- you're you're, de- you're dead uh your dead husband can't die twice." Yeah. You know what I mean, which was uh kind of heartless and she didn't like it very much. Well, I think he just kind of like kind of an immature asshole. Yeah, he's I don't an think he was asshole. trying to like hurt her. Yeah. No, yeah. Just yeah. Think yeah. of the best part of this episode. Yeah. Yo magic. <laughs> the yogurt uh, commercial. Oh, yeah, that was a hell. Which is just struggling to get the fucking lid the guy off. Not he having dies it. on the island. Get the dexterity in his fingers. He couldn't pull no. the fucking lid off. I mean, with your teeth, rip that fucker open oh, with your teeth. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's foil. You stab through. Yeah, it's it's through. He's just yeah. there. Well, the idea was that sometimes kids have trouble peeling those fuckers yeah. off. Yeah. So, <laughs> but like, anyway, you start with that, turned into a skeleton on the island. It reminded me of interdimensional cable. Uh, uh, like, you know, my it, strawberry it, smiggles. <laughs> Nobody can have me strawberry smiggles. <laughs> and this fucking kid's got him and he oh, just fucking shit. strawberry smiggles out of his stomach. Oh, that wasn't as grotesque. What did you guys... Uh, not grotesque. Unexpectedly grotesque. It was just something that seemed uh, out of place. It definitely did. It, did it was like, oh, weird. Just this kid dying terribly. Yeah. Slowly. Yeah. It's threw it in there. But what did you guys think of the intro? I know I had that Malcolm in the middle... Motherfucker, yeah, you read off my fucking paper. No, 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 I know Malcolm in the Middle. Oh, I know, but you didn't remember the fucking reaction. No, well, you mentioned it. Yeah, but... You said it was Malcolm in the Middle. I know, I was saving it. <laughs> it's okay, go ahead. Sorry. It's okay, you stole from me, too. The what last, last recording we did when you said that, uh... What you know, I if you don't, you won't. You stole my saying. Yeah, that's true, you thief. That's you not the same thing. You're a pilferer, is what you are. You hey, sneak hey, into people's hey. pantries, and you steal 
They're savory breads. Don't worry about the <laughs> splinter in my eye when you have a log in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the first time you heard it. That's a good one. <laughs> no, but uh, seriously, it's nice to see it. What did you, what did you think of of that intro? Did you like it as much as the previous episode's intro? Or no, I mean I love Malcolm in the Middle, so I, I liked it. Yeah, mm. yeah, it was cool. It just it's weird, like because you're seeing the tone of this late '90s, early 2000s show with. You know, can't remember what his name is from Breaking Bad, and then you're seeing in the in, and they also the kids the way they turn. Ryan Cranston. Yeah, Ryan Cranston. you're talking about Walter. Yeah, yeah, the way they would uh, break the fourth wall, <laughs> talk to the audience. That's mm-hmm. really prevalent in that show. Directly I, into the camera. Yeah, I, I liked it. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was cool. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like it's just a storytelling device, honestly. But it's always impressive when they can nail the feel. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it felt. It felt. It felt. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Authentic? Legitimate or authentic? Yeah, yeah authentic. It, it really did. Yeah, but you know, for me, like the kind of the meat is like the fact that Wanda dealing with her grief is, you know, how powerful she is creating vision with the thought. Yeah, yeah. You but know, you know mean? what's and, interesting? And her though, brother as well. Go what's ahead. interesting though is Vision lied in this episode, so there's something weird going on if if Wanda creates Vision in her mind. But he has some kind of weird free will. Yeah, you talk about. I mean, honestly, this is when we talk about God creating people with freedom of choice. Yeah. Versus uh, predestination. Right. So, it's like, really weird. You want to create something or create someone, and you want, you know, like you had to. I guess for him to be authentically vision, mm-hmm. she had to create him with some kind of free will without the tether yeah. of like okay I'm not controlling your thoughts you right. are who you are and inside of that she world, altered a couple of things like he doesn't know he's yeah. an Avenger. By yeah, his attitude, he's had his memory before. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Something um, happened though because she doesn't see where everybody is in the world. She didn't know where Vision was, so her son had well, to. He left. The, yeah, well, her son had to tell. You know, yeah. I guess he has some kind of mind ability. Uh, he had to tell Wanda where Vision was. And she took her hit her ability. He took her ability, and the other kid took. Mm, okay. Uh, Quicksilver's Pietro. Yeah, oh, okay. Pietro's. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, so she had to expand the boundary to save yeah. Vision, which was her vision of Vision was fucking yeah. great. Her vision of Vision, which was fucking, I mean, it just shows her power, right? Yeah. So yeah, I I thought that was cool. Just yeah, she created him in a way where he had freedom of, I mean, he had free will, independent thought, and mm-hmm. then of course, when it happens, like your creation can rebel against you. <clears throat> you know what I mean, and we see that. In, Unless you're Rick. Unless you're Rick, and we see yeah. that in. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we, yeah, we see it in the Bible. Yeah, we world. see it in Westworld, yeah. in a way, right? As we were talking about well, earlier. He also enables them. Oh, yeah, good point. I mean, yeah. there was a guy pulling the strings. That's one of the yeah. cool about it. Yeah, I mean, or is Maeve, though? Like, it's... No, fucking uh, Ford, Anthony yeah. Hopkins. Yeah. He kind of enabled a lot of that because it was, what's his name's vision? The fucking Bernard. Mm-hmm. His, uh... The real Bernard. The real Bernard. Yeah. Arnold. Arnold, yeah. Um, he carried on Arnold's vision yeah and kind of enabled them to grow and yeah and everything so definitely not what Ed Harris wanted no but. he didn't want that at all <laughs> a bad man in that he was a very so bad what's your guys' theory on the people on the edge how they were kind of like frozen the fucking woman was crying while she was yeah, sitting she there had like going. a drip coming down yeah yeah, yeah so I guess my theory, I said in reaction, I don't know if it'll make it. No, okay, like you said a little bit ago, she isn't able to sense everything. She didn't know exactly where he was. You know? right. So she has a power that's limited. She doesn't. She told Pietro that she doesn't know how I she mean, does it. I think she didn't know he was out there because he was outside the barrier. Yeah, Yeah, but she didn't know he was walking out there either, right? Do well, she you... was paying attention to... That's what I'm saying. Like, there's like a limit, I think, yeah. to her processing power. And do you think it has to do with the proximity of Wanda to the other people? If she went to those areas, do you think they would... That's what gain I'm, energy and be more. Yeah, involved. that's what I was wondering. She is the main character of the show, right? So, yeah, that that's what I thought. Like, so the pro, like she was saving basically. I get not CP, processing power. Processing so, power yeah. Yeah. is Yo Mad an example of what's happening to those people that are stuck out there because they can't move, they can't eat. Who is Yo Mad? I don't even the, the yoga commercial. Oh, 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 oh. Yo Mad. Yo Magic. Yo Magic. Yo, yo yeah. Mad. Yeah. 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 I mean, I didn't think about that, but you yeah, might be right. No clue. Yeah, yeah, maybe they're fucking slowly dying because they're just stuck there whenever she doesn't go there. They <laughs> right. can't move. They can't go anywhere. That's yeah. That's a, they were in their Halloween garb, but she changes that. But I, now I feel like those people are closer to the center because we saw the people who immediately turned. They 
changed roles immediately and they were moving. Right. So I feel like the people who weren't moving, and this is based on the theory of the processing power and proximity to her. Because mm -hmm. if, if I'm wrong about that, then I don't... Well, at the time, her thought was out there, though. Yeah, you're She right. was expanding the barrier. She, yeah. So the danger to those people, the vision trying to get out there to explain to them, help the people, mm -hmm. I think that those fuckers that can't move are probably dying. Yeah, I mean, because yeah. what's his name even said he's hmm. he said that uh, are they even alive? Yeah, because they're barely moving. Right. Very very good point. Yeah. So no, no yeah. magic is the fate of these poor people. They can't get to their food. They've got candy, delicious candy in their buckets because <laughs> they can't eat. The they know because vision. And I mean, their kids took them all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're slow. Petro down. and. Uh, Tom, Tommy and that was fucking that was fucked up, man. That was fucked yeah. up. <laughs> they also, like I said, we had the scene with Agnes, who, you mm -hmm. know, like in the first episode, like I imagine being annoyed by that type of person, but that actress is very good. She's very good. And she, when she switched it off to like, hey, I'm a fucking prisoner, and she's crying. Like I was like, oh shit, dad, dad, yeah, yeah. dad, yeah. <laughs> and why just, are you yelling though? <laughs> yeah, it's well, you know, but, but. it's probably. Drives you fucking crazy. I mean, it's maybe a constant internal conflict of, you know, the struggle of trying to, like, fight back against Wanda and retain their real self and just knowing that they fucking can't do it. Like, she even said, no one can fuck with Lon Wanda. No, yeah, one, yeah, no she, one can challenge her. Yeah, It was I mean? clear that she was losing her shit because she just started laughing in control. <laughs> she was losing her yeah, shit. Yeah, so. no, yeah. yeah, it was a great, great part of the episode. Um... Okay, and on the outside of that, we had Rambo and her Asian Jim and uh, Asian Jim, uh, the, uh, the uh, Cat Dennings. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, yeah they're, 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 they've established the Carol Danvers and one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Captain I was going to ask you guys, who's Carol Danvers? Who is who, that? It's Captain Marvel, Shane's favorite Marvel character. Yeah, let me tell oh. you, I love that movie. <laughs> Captain who? Captain Marvel. Marvel. She's the good-looking blonde chick in the bread and blue get-up with a butch haircut. Oh uh, wait, I'm, I, I, I don't know if you have any I, I idea. I you may have seen some pictures. I think I might know what you're talking about because I used to have when I was growing up a Ooh. card, a, a card, and it had somebody that resembled that in like a blue outfit with a butch haircut. Okay, you know what I mean? So maybe. Not maybe. that there's absolutely anything yeah. all butch haircuts. No, 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 no they'll always go for them. But oh, you like they that. can look you, good. You're for You like you like that shit. <laughs> no, I don't always. Sometimes they look too butch. Okay. Yeah, like, there's a feminine quality to some of the shorter haircut styles. Sometimes Is she feminine? Who? Yeah, Carol Danvers. Yeah, yeah. I just said she was hot. Okay, well, oh, shit. You're too busy to look like <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's not me. <laughs> I thought it was really clever how they mentioned in the episode that Petro's face has changed. So that it sounds like they were kind of making a part of the story line, right? I, I That's the one thing I'm pretty stumped Red on. Conning it. Yeah, do you have any idea what that is? I'm pretty stumped on it. <clears throat> well, she I said can barely she, remember it because I'm really tired. Well, she yeah, came back but, with, uh, uh, she said he came back with a, a different face or the wrong face or something like no, that. Well, she said, she asked him why do you look different or something yeah. like that. Well, he, but then... And he answered, he said that um, something along the lines of he was, like how you needed me to look or something. Yeah, you know? but then Dr. Lewis and Monica Rambo, one of the two said something like he came back with the wrong face. Do you guys remember that? Yeah, because no, they, yeah, they're establishing the fact yeah. that he was a different actor, a different right. look. And I just think it's cool that they kind of yeah. explain it yeah. through that. Yeah, like, so... Yeah, I guess she doesn't know or doesn't remember. I have no theories about why they cast well, she him. She definitely remembers that he looked different. Oh, yeah, but she... Well, I guess what I was saying was, like, Kat Dennings on the outside said, oh, oh she okay. recast him. I don't mm -hmm. think she recast him. Maybe not intentionally. Or she did, she forgot. Yeah, you know uh, what I mean? Like, okay. Yeah, so I have, I'm stumped. I just don't remember now at this point because I was up all night working on your car. <laughs> yeah, he I was. All day Check out that video. And I'm tired. So. <laughs> no, you're right. Um, and Rambo, she's so fierce. Like, why is she so fiercely committed to helping Wanda? She, well, because she sees Wanda as she said she's the problem, she's the solution. Yeah, and she thinks that by confronting it in that manner, she can help these people and yeah. solve the issue without her resorting to force, like okay. that fucking whatever thing. Yeah. Well, I think Monica relates to Wanda because of the heartbreak that she probably feels because her mom passed away. 
Yeah. Uh, maybe she's a little she, bit of a... She did. There, she there, was, did a, there was a little right. bit of that in there as well. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So I think she was going there and help her. And she realizes that, you know, you, you, like you can't bring a knife to a gunfight. So that missile or however they tried to kill Wanda was basically bringing a, a knife. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. she knows that you're not going to be able to pull that shit with Wanda. So she wants to come up with, a, I would say, a more intelligent and philosophical way of dealing with this problem. Well, heartfelt, but, yeah. yeah, yeah, and these fuckers yeah. just want to blow the shit up. And like just... Sam tried to do with fucking Morgan Thau. He tried to approach her. And then Wyatt Russell walked in. Yeah. He's like, all right, you're under arrest. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Captain America. <laughs> That's a pretty good accent. <laughs> you, know, um, you know, Monica... They don't know how this is affecting her other than they said change her on like a molecular level. Molecular level. Yeah, so... So there was a comparison to her mom's cancer yeah. you know, remission and stuff like that. So I don't know how that's going to affect her if she goes back in. Did she get sucked back in when they expanded the, think the boundary? It it. I don't think I don't it think showed. showed it, yeah. Or, 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 or was their vehicle the one that was turned into the... That's what I'm trying to figure out. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't remember if it was them or if it was just the guys, the, the soldiers that were just trying. I think to it was the soldiers. I don't know. Soldiers. Either I either I paid a lot of attention to that funnel cake truck, or the, the camera lingered <laughs> on it. God, I can only remember <laughs> the funnel cakes. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, the, I thought the camera lingered on it for like a like an extra second. Give you enough time to read that it has the funnel cake truck. Yeah, I knew right away. <laughs> Saw those funnel cakes. Saw those funnel cakes. I recognize oh, that shit. <laughs> I want a good funnel cake. Yeah. Um. So when you have your funnel cakes, uh-huh. you put all that shit on it. I just powder put fucking sugar. Sugar, powdered sugar. No, on powdered it. sugar, but like, that's it. There's people who what do, else do you put on it? There's people who do all kinds of stuff. No, well, that's blasphemy. They're, they're wrong. Yeah, I they're believe wrong. so. I agree with that. I think they're, they're objectively wrong. wrong. Completely <laughs> wrong. So, if you just eat it, like they fucking make it, like the carnies make it. Yes. The Joy one like time put some strawberries one. on it. It was okay. But I saw, uh, like, it's actually Marissa Ring. Like, uh, she did strawberries and chocolate drizzles and, and stuff on well, it. Well, she's wrong. Yeah, she's she, wrong. She is. She is very, very, very wrong. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I have it just powdered. I think it's the best. It's the best. You know, I mean, you, know you can Keep buy little kits. Uh, I think it was from Aldi's, where it's got like a tube top. So when you make the the fucking solution, what's it called? The batter. Yeah. Uh, that and you pour it out. It comes out in like a string, like a thin string, and you can make your own homemade ones now. It is fucking amazing. Yeah. You can just like deep fried. Deep yeah, you just yeah. deep fry it and make that. And I love blooming onions. What do you have, funnel cakes or blooming onions? I have to say blooming onions for me. Funnel cakes. It just depends on my mood, probably. Yeah. Because I don't usually eat a lot of sweets. Yeah. So blooming onions are too greasy for me. I, ain't have I, I like them. I ain't had one in years, and I ain't going back to that fucking place until I can drink. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, blooming onion at fucking... Outback steak. Yeah. I'll oh, I never had one there. Yeah. I've, I've Where else you get a blooming onion? That's, that's what the fucking name comes yeah. from. I've only ever had them at Sterling Festival. I never knew the Sterling Festival sold blooming onions. Yeah, they're fucking greasy as hell. Well, that's why they're greasy. The blooming onions from Outback are good. I didn't yeah. say they're greasy. He said they're greasy. Keep going. Greasy. You just, you just love it. Just later on, Shane thought they were greasy. <laughs> See, the problem is Shane doesn't know what grease is because he's got so much grease he's on his face it. and shit. I got born. I got all of my face. He was born in it. <laughs> Did I ever tell a story when you wiped <laughs> like fucking oil on my fucking? Tell the story. Tell, tell the story. story. All right, tell the story. This was like fucking 2005, literally, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cincinnati, Ohio. I lived in my first apartment there. You came for a visit. Mm-hmm. This son of a bitch took his grease in my fucking Ford Explorer. I like to call it a Ford Exploder because the fucker broke down constantly. <laughs> he took his fucking grease, went like that, and wiped it on my mirror. No, I, did, I don't do that. I do. What do you do? What do you do? I go like this. Like that, I wipe like this. You wipe it directly on the mirror? Yeah. Okay. You used to do that shit all the time. I remember it differently because the mirror, the mirror's kind of hard to get your face up. There. I know, but it here. takes a lot of effort. Okay, it's well. Not just as easy he was thing. not as fat. Okay, okay. One not. of two ways. <laughs> one of two ways. Either did this or wiped his face on it. Yeah. Grease on my fucking mirror above the passenger side fucking visor. visor. Yeah. I had that vehicle for probably, what, three, four, five years. That grease was there the day I got rid of it. Still. <laughs> Five years later. That grease has staying God. power. Damn. Well, I, I mean, like, to degrease my face, I would just wipe it on mirrors. <laughs> At the high school, I remember <laughs> just going into the mirror and just going, wiping it. And my buddy, he come to the cafeteria and sit down. Did you fucking wipe your greasy-ass Philippine face in the <laughs> third, floor, third floor bathroom? <laughs> I literally could have took a spatula and just... 
I remember one time, you off. know, the trophy case on the yes. for top floor. Yes. So there's a trophy case there, and there's wooden frames around it, and the wooden frames stick out a little bit. <laughs> so I remember I was, I was like, <laughs> I was running, like going like this, and rubbing your face on, running while and I was you doing smack it. the shit out of yourself, and, like my, and my nose <laughs> hit the fucking panel. <laughs> ah! Boy, this is blood everywhere. Oh shit. Right, just- yeah. <laughs> wow, that's what you get for being a moron sometimes, right? Is that what you were going to say at first? No. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I, I, I self edited that before we have to edit it. There we go. <laughs> but uh, um, so, speaking of stories, though, um, do you guys have any funny Halloween stories from like growing up? Anything crazy happened? I know, I mean, high school, the last time I went trick or treating with the high school and we went to Hare Andrews' house dressed as Ninja Turtles. Oh, we talked about that. Sans yeah. Donatello, yeah. two Leonardos. I don't remember ever doing anything on Halloween. You never did? Did you ever go trick or treating? When I was little. Yeah. When you were little, little. Yeah. And nothing crazy. I mean, like, we did pranks and stuff. Yeah. Like, um. I never got into all that. I don't remember really? what the fuck yeah. I did. Yeah, I, there's a gap. There's a black hole in my black memory. Hole they were right there when I was a kid, <laughs> really little, and then when I had kids, and I was taking them on Halloween. So Trauma. I must just not have part- I must have never participated. Trauma. Did you give up candy it. when you're like a little older? Like, like when you lived here when you were a teenager? Did you give up candy? I don't remember. What I remember you? one time. No, I don't. There's literally a black it. fucking hole <laughs> there. But because all I remember now is after my brother broke his leg, mm-hmm. I would sit on the. I sat on the porch with him one year and handed yeah. out candy with him. That's after I had kids. Wow. Okay. okay. Do you remember so. going with me, Shane, and you acting like you were a blind man or blind kid? That was the last time. Was that the last time I went trick or treating? Yes. That was the last time I went trick or treating. I was like fourteen. I yeah. Think. We went. No, I was at fourteen because you were in college by then. Yeah. It was right. It was right before you left. For yeah, college. we went. We went trick or treating, and Shane acted like he was a blind kid and was going up on all the porches. <laughs> he had a stick and shit. Oh, yeah, hilarious! Like, yeah, like you know, like, grab someone's face, <laughs> the candy. He would. He would like grab their face. Well, and shit. I worked at Giant and, Eagle, so oh. I, I used to go in Giant Eagle act like that. Seriously? Yeah. When I stay at your house, uh-huh. and, like. If I was just bored, I'd just walk there and do that. So when they hired me at Giant Eagle. The guys who were there for years, they told me, like, yeah, do you remember when you were a kid you did this? I, and I went, no, I don't remember that at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was so funny because some of the people really thought he was blind. Some, you know, Most of the people thought he was just fucking around, but some of the people really thought he was blind. It was hilarious. It was, yeah. It was classic. It was uh, classic me, for sure. <laughs> classic you, for sure. Yeah. Do we see this thing, high school? Do you remember you go, like, yeah. So he used to go... Well, like roll back out of chairs. We basically right got that, I think, from Billy Madison. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then we started taking it and going like... <laughs> so it's like you get shot right here at the shot. And I started fucking... I remember because I'd roll back out of chairs and shit. Like I'd flip backwards. And my feet would go in the air. <laughs> and I'd keep doing it and rolling backwards. Yeah. Well, I remember I was at Giant Eagle one time with Alex Wilson. Because we, we all were doing it. And there was like a stand of stuff of like... It, what it was was like um, chicken and beef and beef bouillon, like yeah, plastic yeah, circular plastic, containers. Yeah, yeah. And you go back into them and it just destroyed this case. Oh my god! And he was like that seizure can go in it. Oh. And it was like I love the I love the commitment. Oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, By that point, what, what else can you do? What do workers do? You either cut and run or you commit. Yeah. I can't remember. I think we got the hell out of there. Also, <laughs> I remember one time at Ohio Con, I was on the stairs. I did it. And every time I do it, I go down the stairs more. <laughs> and there's like a hundred flights of stairs. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, and dude, it was, oh my God. Oh my God, dude. I know this is turned to a podcast. We need to avoid that for a future podcast. Uh, I love this episode. I'm just kind of wondering about the brother and wondering how it's going to end. You know? Yeah, uh, yeah. The show I'm really end with Vision as a corpse and Pietro as a corpse. And Wanda coming to some horrible realization that she has to live with her fucking horrible feelings, and that would be a very good ending. The end. That yeah. would be a very good ending, honestly. It would be a powerful ending. Yeah, and and I guess my wondering is there is his face over there? Like, hmm. yeah. I don't is know. There, we'll see. Is there any? Uh, <laughs> We're a peach colored shirt, folks. <laughs> he wants a happy ending. I like happiness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say it because you have light colored shirts. I ain't been wearing them lately. I ain't been feeling it. Yeah. Might sell them on eBay. What? Give them to me. I'm keeping the hat though. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I think I have a feeling that it's going to be something like that, and I'm wondering if she, I, I heard that she was or is or sometimes a villain in the comics. Well, she's Magneto's daughter in the comics. Yeah, so. 
So I'm wondering. She's already she started as a villain in this. Yeah. See, for universe. me, if it just comes all happy, not happy, but if she comes out just realizing that she's got to live with her pain and all that bullshit, it's kind of a waste. I'd Think love so? to see her come out as a villain. That'd be great. But as a villain, it would be a good turn. Yeah. That, that would be interesting, yeah. for sure. I'd think it'd be a pretty bold choice. Uh, I think this needs to end. Set that up as the next, maybe one of the next sin, um, fucking movie villains. Yeah. It's, it's, a great, yeah. it's a great origin story. Dude, is, yeah. this a, is this a one, one-off, one-season type deal, or is this going to go on for the... As far as we know, okay. yes. Okay. Which, the way this is. Unlike the Falcon Winter Soldier, I think that can go on. I don't mm-hmm. think this Well, that's one of those things where it's going to be... A, Become like a serial, yeah, where they just yeah, yeah they have their little adventures, in yeah, Israel. exactly. But this is the type of show I think that can do that. Mm-hmm. I don't know how they would do it, yeah. really. Well, we discussed it, it had to be a completely different show, all right, guys. I think that's pretty much it, so yeah. we're out of here. Thanks everyone for coming back. If you like it, like and subscribe, dig up the social media shit. Instagram. These men have developed. <laughs> Like their boobs. Like, <laughs> and this is true. <laughs> this <is> baby. <laughs> and if you don't like it, don't. I won't hate you at least. No. Because if you don't, you won't. So. If you don't, you might not. No, I'm just kidding. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> Instagram, third three reactions. We're out. <laughs>